Welcome back to you, Trinidad and Tobago. It's the No Morning Show here on TTT. And of course, we are live. It is a Friday. It's Friday. Long time I haven't been able to say that. But I can say it today. So I'm going <laughs> to exercise my constitutional rights. And guess what? It's Calypso History Month. It's October. And of course, we're celebrating in fine style. And what better way to do that than to have a Calypsonian on set with us who is able to talk to us about the history of Calypso. But you know me, I ain't going to pretend to know what I don't know, which I don't know. <laughs> I know what I don't know, so I'm going to hand over to Rockers. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, we have the Vice President of Tuco South Central Zone joining us, Hamid Al Hamid Hamidullah Wahid. Good morning to you, sir. <laughs> Hamidullah. Hamidullah. Ham, as in Hamburg. I have a Hamburg, and you know. Hamidullah. 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 Yes. Mm. Good morning, sir. Good morning, my How brother. Good morning. Well, the old man, this is so thank you. Chopper like health, but are they here? <laughs> you. you need a translator, no? Eh? No, he said he chop it like hell, but he's still there here. <laughs> I heard. Good morning, Natalie. Yes, good morning. How are you? Oh, well, that day, as I say before. Yeah, you know? but you look nice, man. But I have no choice. And when the time I come by, Natalie, I say, hey, I have to put on my best. Hmm. Uh, so you I'll know what? Well, nice. it's funky. It's working, it's working, it's working. <laughs> so it's Calypso History Month. Yeah. You know, I want to start with. We, we have a rich culture of Calypso in mm. this country. I don't think anybody can deny that. True. And, you know, to me, uh, it's something we talk about all the time. Just how, to me, the, the competition handbugs the growth, the overall growth mm. of what Calypso is. But that aside, because we're celebrating, right? I we're mean, celebrating. So celebrating, let us, you can analyze mm, the thing too, mm, you know? I mean, no, yeah, that is true. That is true. But I mean, how much time we go analyze it? Every day we have that conversation about the competition and it now changed. So leave the competition and make we just find how we go grow it outside yeah. of the competition. Mm -hmm. Right? So, uh, Mr. Wahid, when it comes on to Calypso, what do you think is that thing about Calypso that just makes people tick, make people move? Well, for starters, Kaiso to the, to the Trinidadian and Tobago and the Western as a whole is somewhat innate, you know, in that because of um, it coming from, um, well, the African experience as it is, and we are one people, you find quite naturally when we hear that rhythm, that, 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 that feed in that drum, we I gravitate know. towards it, yeah? Yeah. Well, I am definitely happy to hear that. Well, you know, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm curious, uh, Mr. Wahid, when it comes to the history of how, how the thing has progressed, mm -hmm. right? I mean, Calypso is oral tradition. It passed down from generation to generation yeah. until it became formalized. A hundred and it'll be hundred and one years now. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the first Calypso tent, mm -hmm. where you know people gathered to hear Calypso music play, and from there we saw the evolution of Calypso through the years. And then we got to a point when somebody felt it was necessary to organize the Calypsonians together, and we have this this company, this this um, organization called Tuco. I want you to tell me a little bit about the about the reason for the institution and and why it exists. Why we, we have a, a, a institution like Tuku yeah. representing Kaisonia. Yeah. Well, first of all, um, the corruption was an individual. Eh? Mm -hmm. We going back to the Barakia, the Gael, the the the, 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 um, the Giros and that kind of thing. People who would have been representing their a particular area. You understand? Um, well, so fast forward now into the commercialization. Now, what has happened is that during that period. People might have been more or less freeing up, expressing themselves and their concerns, right? When it become commercialized now and people recognize, pardon my expression, you can eat our food. Mm -hmm. Because them for eating all the food, that being the promoters and them. Oh. The artists and then we had to organize itself to make representation. So hence using of two kono coming in like a union to represent the interests of the Calypsonians. Has it worked? Well it worked, yes. Uh, in, in well it was working better before than now. Because we would have happened, would have had the, the, the what you call your entrepreneurs, like the word, mm -hmm. that's the word? I just make it yeah. your entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. These people who would have been organizing and more or less benefiting more themselves and treating you more or less with total disregard then. You mean the promoters? The promoters, about? A, quite a lot of them had right. no regard and respect for the artists and they. Right. At least from my position, eh? Mm -hmm. Because they might have found they've been respectful in that they're providing a, perform, a, a platform for you to perform, to show your ways, and they might have even feed, in the absence of them, you couldn't get nothing. And you think the Calypso tends to help with that, help the artist, the Calypsonian, to get a better way to eat a food, so to speak? Oh, yes. If, if only because um, what would have happened is that, um, and you must give these people credit, 
when they form the program, they give you a profile in terms of the position and take the case of, um, well, for want of a better um, um, example, take the case of probably Martin or Kitchener or Miss Sparrow. When you sing in this environment, your profile Lips. You understand, mm -hmm. as I get you for singing in the, in the village where nobody really knows you, you go sing there for charity. Right. But you graduate from there now to, like we would say, Hollywood then. Yeah. Right. Ho Hollywood being part of Spain with the Bible. And over the years, we've seen some of those same names that you call them, the, the Kitchener's Review mm. and the Spectacular, which was Martin Oates. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, these, these sorts of tents kind of fell off um, over the years. And we saw the rise of tents that were organized by Tuku. No, what, what I said, it was simultaneous, you know. Okay. The Tuko was there protecting the Caribbean interest bus because the Caribbean weren't satisfied that it was getting what it was supposed to get from the the entrepreneurs, the private people and them. Mm -hmm. Right? So what happened is that with the demise of these people, mm -hmm. the Kaiso uh, organization transitioned into mm -hmm. more or less promoter slash right. uh, entrepreneur too. So then how do you feel now when you hear people talk about the tents, the, the, t the tents dying, and even just what the experience is like getting in a tent, especially if you're just coming up? Mm. Well, the tents, to, to my mind, not dying. Eh? I, I don't feel it would evolve, because you would appreciate when it started with uh, Ray Douglas in 1921, where he, where he instituted the first commercial Kaiso tent. It was a one-man show, no? He mm -hmm. was singing, he alone, and people were paying to come and hear he. And yeah. then it then evolved into what we know it as today. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying that to say that um, it wouldn't die. It, it would, it would be evolve all, all, all the time. So in other words, it has given more artists a, a, a better space or a bigger platform. Oh, yes. And not only that, when you're considered, it have no way to learn Calypso more than having to be fortunate enough like myself as a younger child that go into the Kaiso tent and look at this bass perform. Nobody teaches you Calypso, no. You learn Kaiso if you want to pay attention. And by the way, I must commend Rockers and um, what's another lady name is? And, 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 Ayanka. And Ayanka. Ayanka and the, um, the cameraman here. When I hear you singing um, Dingo Lee, eh, eh, I feel happy because, I mean, that is something that's alien to a lot of younger people. Mm -hmm. you, you play the guys, they don't know what's like happening. So it's Not in TTT, darling. In TTT, all them people know all them songs. Look at Rockers, forces them to learn. Rockers play everything local. I must admit, he don't know longer fall in him, but he has developed tremendously. I mean, I'm listening to him all the time and get in there. Yes, are we happy for that? Because that is, that's why I'm making the point mm -hmm. that it wouldn't be dying with people like yeah. you coming on stream and getting the education. The other thing is too, when you begin to understand the history of Calypso, pardon my expression, more so as an African, I makes no apology for saying that. The values you know, that, that, that Kaiso reminds you of in terms of being able to liberate you as a people. Mm -hmm. uh, you come from independence to um, mm -hmm. republicanism, and Kaiso has been the vehicle doing all of that. So how do you think we get, we get to that point where we get all the young people or all the African people connected to this richness that is a part of our history and even just a part of who we are and how we think? Education. We support education, people in, in that respect here. Education, yeah, education, education, that is the foundation. You see, we support people with respect to come out of colonialism where you have been, well, subjugated, you have been humiliated, you have been dehumanized. As a matter of fact, uh, taken more domestically, where there's a young girl in the home and she's been made to feel, you wash the wear, cook the food, and she's been dominated her whole life. When she gets, when she feels liberated in terms of being married and things, her attitude become different and also not important. She can't cope with the marriage situation because she feels like, as a big woman now, so I'm mm -hmm. married, so I'm supposed to be free, not recognizing that it comes in terms and conditions. So I'm saying education is the essence of the thing that would help us as a people to better appreciate Calypso. Amadula, we want you to give us a little song this morning, but before we do that, I, I want to ask, earlier you said, you know, you thought Tuko used to work better than it working now. Why do you think it doesn't work properly now? Well, because himself, himself, naturally, it's confusion. You understand? Mm -hmm. mm. Um, in the Powerful. colonial period, in the colonial period, when was we against them? We against the crown. Mm -hmm. To me, we was more unifying people. We didn't have this amount of division. But now we're Grenadian but does that does now that we come more nationalistic. We have a set of division. You, you understand? But doesn't that speak to leadership? Sorry? Doesn't that speak to leadership and management but in I'm, terms I'm, of I'm, how it's handled? I'm bottling that with education. Right. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. All right. Well, I mean, you can't, you can't come on set this morning and then give you a little tune. No, well, if you know me, um, put it this way, 
long time, in the guy, the stick man get the head boss. Mm. And they said, boy, take a five. When that calendar started to kick up, he <laughs> wants to go back inside the jail. <laughs> <laughs> so, and the guy like that. Once you ring the bell, we have to respond. And by the way, before, before I go into that, I want to more or less, um, well, we celebrate Christian month, and we want to also celebrate the contribution of Lutalo Masimba, of course. our president, a tremendous contributor to the art form. And also, my uncle around there happens to be 80 somebody. He go to live when he come with us eh? mm -hmm. um, on Sunday. So we want to say happy birthday, happy birthday in advance. Yeah. In one advance. Time. All right. We, we, we might not have time to do the two that you wanted Mom, to do. You, so you big enough, one. wherever you in charge. Whichever. All right. Let me go. Ladies and gentlemen, have a dollar one head. Yeah? All right. Here we go. Morning. Good. Yeah. All right. Jin Bego, this is for you. I ain't care. Fuck your belief, fuck Jimbo's gun. What matters is your attitude to this nation. People of TNT, this land belongs to we. Come on, train Begonians, time for dedication. This blessed nation we live in. Needs rebuilding. Come on and draw on all your resource. Let's put this motherland back on course. Yeah, why? For we are all in this thing together. Come, let's be workers, building a brighter future. Out of the wilderness and depression, we forge in a new direction. Blood, sweat, tears, and vision. We go build a better nation. Come. Many a voice of condemnation Saying you are on the path of destruction Every nation of ups and downs Endless pitfalls to get around And you're gaining wisdom I know you would overcome With the advice of the elders All contributors Young and old must form a strong chain So the effort won't be in vain yeah, why? For we are all in this thing together. Come, let's be workers, building a brighter future. Out of the wilderness and depression, we forge in a new direction. Blood, sweat, tears, and vision, we go build a better nation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Natalie, you agree with me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, mama. Rock out the song for you. There's no shame at all in honest labor. Be the best, whether prime minister or vendor. In this great future we build in, there'll be value in everything. Division and class must be a thing of the past. Our greatest enemy is this unity. We must stamp it all completely. Come show you care about TNT. Let me hear you now. All right. All in this thing together. Come let the workers building a brighter future. Out of the wilderness and depression. We call Calypso History Month every Friday in October. So you think you know Kaiso? Join us for Who Sing That? Call in segment where we give you a Kaiso quote from popular Calypso and you tell us who sang it. Show us how much Kaiso you know. Call us on now every Friday in October and tell us who 